Hi, my name's Owen, and I'm going to be going over my gray box for my Quake single player level I made. That's for a castle. Uh, in this starting area, you're on the outside, and the front door is locked, so you have to go around and press these four buttons while kind of avoiding and having to shoot these zombies. Um, they're pretty slow, so you can outrun them pretty easily, but they can be annoying when you're trying to press the button. And then you can pick up this double barreled shotgun, which is just like an upgrade for the current weapon. Um, it does a lot more damage, but you need to be closer. It takes more ammo. And then in this area, there's like a, a little boat with all these rot fish. Um, and they're like a kind of dangerous swarming enemy. There's a secret here that's got a nail gun and a grenade launcher some pickups and a bio suit quad damage lets you get through this part of the level really easily. And the bio suit lets you breathe under the water so you don't have to worry about that. Going through here, now that you've got a grenade launcher, you can kill the zombies. Though that part's optional, as you don't need to kill them. So even if you miss the secret, you're fine. And then that's where you would get the nail gun if you didn't find it in the secret. And that triggers these two enemies. There's some pickups in the room. This is like the foyer. Uh, kind of like in my top-down map. Uh, there's the east wing and the west wing. Here are some of the enemies from the west wing that spotted me, so they're coming to attack me. And then I need to press the two buttons that are in both the wings. So I have to kill these guys. And then the enemies in these rooms are mostly knights and death knights. And they'll sort of come at you uh, in squads. There's some pickups in this room and the button that I press. And then once I press that button, it spawns more enemies in the foyer room that'll attack you once you enter it. Um, they kind of need to be dealt with, so you technically can run away if you really wanted to, but it's better to kill them. Um, you don't get a whole lot of weapons on this map, you're mostly just going to be using the shotgun and the nail gun. Um, the grenade launcher that you get is a secret, you don't even get that much ammo up, just 10 shots to last the whole level. So even if you don't find it, it doesn't impact it a whole lot. And pressing both those buttons is what opens up that, uh, that dining hall door that's in my top down. That's that room in the middle. And then once I press that, it spawned in more enemies as well. That teleport in. Uh, and then after you kill them, it opens up the dining hall. This zombie was kind of annoying me, so I go up to kill it, but I miss. I don't know how I get it with the grenade launcher. And going up these stairs actually triggers more knights to spawn. Uh, if I want to deal with them as well. When you're spawning in the enemies, they're not actually creating new enemies. I just have a like a box outside the level that's full of enemies that I teleport in and trigger certain things. 
So that was how I did that. Uh, going into the dining hall sort of triggers this squad of enemies to run up and attack you. There's a bunch of knights and death knights. Uh, but there's a lot of death knights and knights this time. It's kind of fitting for like a big room in the, in the, in the, in the castle. You might notice there's like a secret little, or not a secret, but a kind of obvious little divot in the center. And then grabbing this key will cause that to open up. You can see the staircase. And uh, you need the gold key. We have the silver key though. You might remember that you need that uh, my top down map. You need the silver key to open up the room that's the upstairs that you get to from the floor. Got more of these guys spawned in, so after they're killed, you might want to grab some more pickups. And then heading upstairs will take you to this area. And that takes your silver key. You can see these scrags or wizards. Um, and you're just kind of introduced here because you have to fight them in the next room when there's a boss. I wanted to sort of introduce them in an easier way. You know, like the, the isolation principle in game design. You want to introduce new threats kind of one at a time so the player gets used to them. There's some armor, extra pickups. You also get the super nail gun, um, in which if you conserve uh, ammo for it, is very useful. But you have to, you have to be, uh, you can't waste the, the nails. Uh, there's more wizards and there's this is the room with the gold key. There's also one of these fours with a shower rag. Uh, and then after you kill those and the wizards, there I, the vor shoots up a projectile that follows you, so I use that to hit the, 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 the scrags. Do some battle. There's some pickups from the gold key, which we needed to get to the basement. <laughs> when you pick up the gold key, another one of these vors will spawn. And they'll start attacking you. you gotta kill them. Luckily, there's, uh, I made these columns around the room. You can use to stop the attacks. <clears throat> you can leave after that. Some more enemies have spawned. Killing these uh these scrags will let you go down. And then there's some health packs over here, kinda hidden behind the staircase. More zombies have spawned in down here as well. As they wanted to go inside. Um and now that we have the gold key, we can go down here to open up this door. There's these knights and death knights. The secret little armor thing over there. And here's these, uh, they're called spawns. Um, kind of like the scrags. They're in the, they're in the boss fight in the next room over, so I wanted to introduce them. Sort of a safer environment first. I'm gonna move some pickups before the boss. Um, this is the big boss room. There's, um, uh, there's a shambler. And six of those spawns. Um, 
I like to kill the Shambler first, as while the spawns are dangerous, they're sort of just there to make the fight harder. You can kind of avoid them, whereas you can't avoid the Shambler attacks. And then yeah, once you kill the Shambler, you're able to leave the room. You get to the end, you can see I set up a little camera for the info transmission before you get taken back to the Quake Spasm starting area. You can see the, the front room and all the dead enemies. And yeah, that's my that's my level. Thank you.